Hi there, this is Nono and this is an overview on Node.js. So we're going to see first uh, what Node.js is and how to install it and also uh, what the npm package manager is and how can we um, create a project and install packages on it and use packages both locally in a project and globally on the system. So Node.js is a JavaScript runtime build um, on Chrome's VH JavaScript engine. And it's usually um, used to build um, all sorts of applications in JavaScript. And the cool thing is that as it's based on Chromium, uh, it works cross-platform. One of the most famous um, ways to deploy cross-platform desktop applications with Nose is Electron. So NPM is the Node Package Manager, and there are like thousands of uh, packages written in JavaScript uh, for multiple different purposes. Um, npm install is the command that you would use to install dependencies on a Node.js project and you can also use it to install um, commands globally on your machine. Basically use JavaScript programs as um, global commands on your command line. And to install Node.js um, on Windows you can download the installer and you can do the same on Mac, but on Mac you can also install it uh, using Homebrew by running brew install node and this would automatically install the latest version. You can also uh, install npm the same way. So let's see a demo of uh, how can we create a Node.js project from scratch and how can we use uh, some libraries. So we're going to open the, the terminal and the first thing I'm going to do is um, if we have brew installed as I do um, and we didn't have uh, npm install or node we would just run brew install node and then brew installed npm but as I already have it installed, um, it's really not going to do anything. Um, and what I'm going to do to test Node.js is that I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to create a, a folder. And then um, I'm going to use npm init to initialize a new project in my app folder. Um, you could create um, you could create a node project or a node script in JavaScript directly. Let's do that first. Uh, so I could create um, a JavaScript program uh, here with this index.js file and just by writing something to it um, we could execute the program, right? So node um, creates a JavaScript V8 um, runtime engine and executes this as if it was in some way um, a tab in your Google Chrome browser. Um, what NPM, the role that NPM plays here is to manage the dependencies of your project and also allows you to set up scripts as local commands for the project and some other nice things as um, deploying your project as an npm package itself so it can be a dependency of other people's projects so if we do npm in it um, as you can see, this utility walks us through creating the package.json file, which depends, so defines all your dependencies. And then it says that if we run npm install package, uh, we're going to be able to install um, packages and save, this, save them as dependencies in our package.json file. So I'm going to call my app 
my first node app version we can put whatever version we want my new app uh, entry point index.js node test command node repository uh, tutorial and author you can uh, write these things here and what this does it it generates a package.json file that um, that contains a JSON JSON uh, object with all those properties and you can edit them here um, I'm gonna close here and here well we're gonna uh, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna get the terminal here on Visual Studio Code and I'm gonna try and install a package so npm install geometry so geometry is a package that um, I found on the npm website uh, by searching on the search bar and as you can see here we can search on the npmjs.com website and see a lot of different packages that we're going to be able to use like for almost anything so here on this package I just need to do npm install or npm i geometry and npm will take care of installing the package you see how it's created the node models folder and the only thing I have right now is geometry mm, if we want to save this on the package of JSON so if somebody else uh, clones your project can actually also get that package installed we will do save at the end and this um, why is this not working okay so actually we didn't really need to do that um, npm already handles that by default if you're in the project and adds that dependency to your project Notice how ge the geometry library doesn't have an independency, so this is the only package that we got installed. But if we were to install something like um, Express, uh, Express is a package that has a lot of dependencies because it doesn't really want to reinvent the wheel and it uses um, a lot of existing packages, as you can see, for doing things that already exist out there um, Express is here so I've installed the Express package that allows you to um, create an HTTP server but there are a lot of other um, package dependencies and I have um, yeah there are like a lot of dependencies here so um, let's continue with our project um, so I can remove manually the express dependency here and do npm install and npm is going to take care of like cleaning up all the dependencies and all the packages that I don't need anymore if we go back now that we have the geometry dependency that is the one that I installed now we can go back to our application and require the geometry library With this line, we're um, using the geometry package that we installed with npm in our node project. The geometry library, I mean, I've taken a look at the API and it exposes some 2D uh, classes and some methods. And you could, for instance, uh, create point A and give it uh, some coordinates and we could also create another point B and create some coordinates so there are methods um, that we get for free because this library has implemented it and we can say point A distance to point B and we can say the distance is the distance so now if we execute um, this program we can see that the distance is 100 
Uh, with this, I just want to make the point that we have uh, created an empty project, installed a package that is on NPM on the package manage manager, an open source project which code is on GitHub, and I'm using it. So we can uh, browse the whole code of this library here, made by Jonathan, Johan Nordberg. And we can see all the code here. There are like thousands of packages, as I mentioned before. And the only other difference I want to show with NPM is that there are some times that you need um, packages only for local development, not for deployment of the application. How you specify that is that you can do npm install the name of the package and then save that. What this is going to do is that the same way we did before is going to install the package with all of it of its dependencies, but it's going to place the um, the package as a dependency in dev dependencies. This means that um, this is only installed here for development, but not it won't be installed if we deploy this application to another place because the application doesn't really need this to run. It's just for us to develop locally. Um, okay, so this is all I wanted to show of Node.js. Um, the concept of Node.js is that you have an entry point to your application, the index JS, um, the index JS file, and that is what you call with Node to execute. You could have multiple entry points to do different things, and it could get a lot more complex than this. The last thing that we're going to see is that if we have a terminal window, um, right now I can call the HTTP server um, command, for example, and the Budo command. These two uh, I've I have available because I installed globally. What does that mean? It means that if you run npm install HTTP server and you do minus G, this will install this package globally in your command line and would be accessible from anywhere. So uh, what this means is that um, if I run now the geometry command, we don't find it because I don't have anything called geometry in my local, in my global library. But if I run npm install geometry, so the geometry package, and I say globally, what it will do is that it's going to download it and it's going to install it and make it available on my command line. This is not found, but if we go, well, okay. So actually the geometry package doesn't implement an, an interface to be run as a command line interface application. <clears throat> so that is um, that is all I wanted to show. Maybe let's try with um, Bower. So I don't have Bower installed, but we can install it globally probably. Okay, cool. So we didn't have this command uh, installed before, but now um, I've installed it uh, in my machine just by calling npm install bower dash g, and now it's accessible from any uh, terminal window that I open on my computer, and I can use it as if it was one more command line uh, program on my machine. In the same way, you can develop your own command line. Um, uh, JavaScript programs that can be either used as a command line application or as a dependency on a project. So this was um, the summary on Node.js and NPM. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this video and I hope it was useful for you.